Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go into the bedroom and I'm going to do some reorganizing and kind of put in a few fall fragrances. It's still quite warm, but it varies. So last week it was rainy and cold all week. So, you know, we're in that September time where sometimes it's really hot and you want some summer fragrances. Sometimes it's getting cold and you want something cozy. So I want to revamp my uh, carousels to reflect kind of the season and let's get started. So keeping it real, this is the state of my perfume slash makeup area at the moment. Uh, just a little overwhelmed and um you know things are out of place of course i just did some videos so things are always out of place after that but um i want to switch out my fragrances to reflect kind of the season so uh, i'm going to be pulling out a bunch of these then i have all my fragrances uh, i thought i'd pull them out now these i just store actually under my bed for now uh i've got to find a better way to store them but uh, it stays dark there, so I figure it's pretty good. I just want covers on them. So I've pulled out this bin, which I'm going to use kind of for more of the summer ones because I can cover it up, and hopefully that will work uh, for my summer fragrances. And then obviously I can't put all of these uh, in my carousel, so I'm going to pick and choose, pull out some of the ones that I want to wear for kind of where the weather's kind of getting a little bit more um, it, like just a little bit more, uh, cold, uh, still hot, still cold. So I want kind of some transition. So almost like spring, uh, type, but a little bit more cozy cause we're in that season. So let's get started. So the first thing that I do whenever I do, uh, like some organization is I pull out all unnecessary pieces like this stuff and just clean the table so I can actually work. So any fragrance that I won't be using because it's just kind of more of a beach fragrance, like for instance, Sun, that's getting put away. Some of them I have boxes for, other ones I don't. Uh, but anything that I haven't reached for, and to be honest, I've reached for things like um, Soli Blanc, Blanc hardly at all, primarily because the weather has just been so cold here uh, that I've just had absolutely no desire to wear any of them. So this is one fragrance that I really struggle with. I don't love it. Like it's okay. Uh, it's the Amber Oud Gold. It's so popular. It's a very nice fragrance, but it's just not really me. So yeah, as much. No, I'm gonna keep this one out for a while. The new Soaky London, as nice as it is, it's much more uh, sum summer spring, so I'm going to put it away for until next year. This one I love. I haven't worn it very much, though. Putting away my Elizabeth Arden's Angel Ice Star. I'm going to put away Trisardi Donna. Okay, so that is about all that I can fit in this box so it's good to go so I put some uh of my travel sprays in here so chocolate earth so I pulled some out put some new ones in chocolate earth by untamed this is a gorgeous kind of um chocolatey fragrance that has some earth notes so uh it smells very complex it's chocolatey it's got some sweetness in it but uh the earthiness um I think it's tarragon some mushroom in it so interesting and just a beautiful fragrance where you're not smelling just simply of chocolate. So really love this one. Complex and sexy. Uh, also have uh, Orchidée Vanille uh, by Van Cleef & Orpels. I've got my Tobacco Vanille in there for the fall. I have uh, my Ellis Brooklyn Bee. I've got um, uh, Venom of Love in here and a few other samples. I'm also gonna put in Chocolate Queen. Uh, I've got a big sample of Chocolate Queen too that I wanna put in here. So I think for this first shelf, I'm still absolutely loving this fragrance. So that's going in there. I want to put uh, still Broceliande. Absolutely love that fragrance. So I'm gonna put that there. Another one that I just can't get enough of is Raja Parfums. Uh, Enigma Pour Femme. Just absolutely love that fragrance. So, so gorgeous. And then here, I think I'm actually going to put uh, Suma Oriental 
and sugared leather. I'm gonna put those two in there, which I'm really excited about. Love both of them. I'm gonna actually just put Lyra right there too, because I think that looks really nice. Uh, what to put with this shelf. I still want some of my summer fragrances out. So Rose and Rose kind of can't be without that these days. Want to put that in there. Um, I think I'm actually going to put La Belle in there as well. What do I want to put with Broceliande? I think I'm going to put my little Lextas in here. Uh, these bottles are square, so they're hard to fit things in. Ah, maybe I'll pull Broceliande forward. I've got this uh, bottle of the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. Wrong bottle, uh, but right smell. <laughs> Put it there and then for right here I think I'm going to put my Pesho Yuzu because I plan on getting a lot of use out of that fragrance for the fall. I think I'll put Sweet Addict and I'm going to put uh, Flower Bomb Midnight in with it as well. So I, I haven't been reaching for Flower Bomb Midnight at all so not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I think I'll probably end up selling it at some point. Moving to the second shelf. Okay, so I'm leaving these three on here because I just reach for them. Uh, like they're all kind of in the same genre, so I like having them together. Um, as far as an extra one in here, will this fit in there? Is it too tall? I'm gonna put this in there. So I love Hot Couture. Uh, it's not quite the same, but it's kind of in that same these are all more kind of traditional perfume smelling fragrances. I love them all. This one's a little bit more sexy, sultry, but I like I just I'm kind of addicted to this one. So anyway, those three work those four work together. Uh, I'm gonna go to my shortest shelf here to figure out what I want to put in there. And I think I'm gonna just put Ellie Sab, uh, the Girl of Now and Girl of Now Shine in there. And if I can, I'm gonna just put the Wedding uh, Velvet Santel um, right there. Next shortest shelf is this. Now I've had my legs in there for a while. I'm gonna remove So Scandal out of there because I know I'm gonna, not gonna wear it for the fall but I'm gonna leave my Scandal a Perry in there for sure. Oh, it doesn't fit in that one. Oh, now this begins. Crazy train, okay. Uh, that one's not, no, we're not. I, I, I don't know where I'm gonna stick this one. Okay, so we'll move to this shelf. So I'm gonna put Scandal a Perry there. I'm gonna put Dolce Garden. Uh, I wanna throw one more in there. So I am going to put my Zucchetto Filato in there. Uh, and just leave them all kind of where I can reach them because otherwise I don't reach for them. For this shelf, it's a little bit shorter. Does this fit? Okay, I'm gonna put my Wee Plus. I love this fragrance. Oh, like I'm so excited about wearing it. It's so chocolatey and marshmallowy and delicious. I'm gonna throw this one in there. Love this fragrance, Girl Wanted by Azaro. So beautiful. And I'm also going to just put in um, this this one. This is called Twilight Shimmer by Michael Kors. I think you can still get it. It's a beautiful kind of plummy oud, and I think it's perfect for kind of fall. And as you can see, like I still have some summer fragrances like Zucchetto Filato, although I like to mix this and have this out all year round too. Uh, this one, this one can be worn out all year round too. So some year round ones, a, a few warmer fragrances just to kind of, uh, you know, kind of make the transition happen. So that is my second shelf. Love it! Okay, so I'm looking at the ones I have in my bottom shelf. I'm just going to remove them so I can figure out what I want in there. Uh, and what I don't want, what I don't want out for the rest of the year. So I definitely know I'm going to put terracotta away. So that's going to go. Um, I th I'm going to put away uh, Olympia Aqua Legere. Very nice fragrance. Um, it to me just it screams summer. So I'm going to put it away. I feel so sad because summer just didn't happen here for us. Um, love at first sight. This is a fragrance that honestly you could wear all year round, but because I'm um, because I'm pulling out a couple uh, Unui Nomads, I, I don't have room for all of them. So I'm gonna give these a rest for a while. I've had both of them out for quite a while. 
used a decent amount, as you can see. Uh, I've given some, uh, you know, some samples to my friends too, but definitely used a decent amount of these. Uh, this one in particular, I just am in love with. It's like passion fruit lilac. It's so beautiful, so feminine. This one is a little bit warmer. It has dates in it and rose, kind of a little bit similar to, um, uh, it, it kind of stands on its own. It's, it's a gorgeous fragrance. Uh, both of these all year rounders, but I just want to put them away for a while. I have Olympia Intense. This is a beautiful amber. I'm going to actually leave that one out because, um, yeah, you can wear this all year round too. It's sweet, vanillic, and salty. So you can wear it in the heat and it actually works even though it's so sweet. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, I'm, it's a good transition fragrance for sure. Okay, so I'm going to keep Hannah Mori out for a little while longer. I didn't reach for it very much, but I want it out. I'm also just going to put Modest Deux in there. Love this fragrance. Um, it's just it's just juicy, cherry, strawberry, uh, chocolatey. Uh, it, it's caramel. It smells like a dessert, and it's uber sexy, so I want that one out. And I'm not ready to put away my Greek Lover. This one is a beautiful uh like an easy reach fragrance for sure uh it's orange blossom centric it's got some grapes in there like seriously this smells like summer uh but it's a very classy fragrance that would work uh for you know if it's hotter in the fall definitely we'll be reaching for that one i'm actually going to just turn all of these like that it just makes it easier okay this is my shortest shelf in here does my kryptonite fit in there Okay, Kryptonite, I'm going to put in there. Love this fragrance. Like, I'm really shocked by it. I can't believe I like it as much as I do. Um, I also, I'm going to put um, my Olympia Intense in there. And if it fits, I'm going to put Sunshine in there. Yeah, that'll work. I know I'm not, like, color coordinating them this time as, as good, but uh, just want to be practical. I'm going to get to put, pull out more fragrances. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to put Musk Noir Rose. Actually, I'm going to put Musk Noir Rose over here because that kind of works. So, uh, Musk Noir Rose. Actually, can I do this differently? I'm going to go this way just so that they're easier to reach. Uh, so Musk Noir Rose for her, such a gorgeous fragrance. Um, this, these are both kind of sexy. This is sexy in its own way. Uh, so yeah, that works to me better. Okay. I'm going to throw Coco Vani in here along with Love is Love and Wonderland Peony. So I'm just going to put Peony, uh, I'm going to just do this for all of them. So anyway, these are a little bit more summery, but while well, this would, you could wear this all year round. This is definitely more summery. But I still want it out because I just love it too much. I'm going to put Toile Imperatrice. I'm going to put Jasmine Wisp. And can I fit one more in here? You know what? I'm going to... Uh, these are these are hard bottles to work with. Ah, I know. I'm going to throw uh, Cherry Rose in here as well. So let's see. Will that work? Yeah, that'll work. that works. Oh, that works really good. I actually have room for one more here. Uh, no, nope. gonna leave it like it as is. So far, this is what I have on the bottom shelf. Love it, a good mix of summery and warmer, kind of sexy fragrances. This is the middle up here. Oh, it's so exciting! Love it. And then up top, how gorgeous is that? I get way too excited about stuff. Oh, you can see me. Woo! Love. I can't, like, I'm so excited about these ones. And this one. Okay, so in this one, um, I'm going to keep out my Dolce Amalfi. Actually, I'm going to put my Dolce Amalfi in the other one, I think. Uh, I'm getting rid of Coco Ella Vanilla for this for the season. I'm definitely not going to reach for that. Um, I've got a few uh, sprays here. I've got 100 Silent Ways. I've got Twilly Ginger I wanted to keep out and then uh, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. I'm also going to throw in uh, Vanilla Sky because that's a great one. 
there's still room for probably one more, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna throw Guess up here. I'm also going to put in La Petite Robe Noir up there because they're both blue and I like the color. And uh, I, I'm just gonna do two there because that looks really pretty. Uh, here, I'm going to put Fiction. This is by the company Chez Pierre. Um, unfortunately, we have a Chez Pierre uh, here in Edmonton, and it's a strip club. So every time I hear the name Chez Pierre, unfortunately, that's what I think of. But this Fiction is a dupe of Lost Cherry. This is a, a dupe house from Poland, and I am so impressed with this. Uh, such an excellent dupe of Lost Cherry. So I'm gonna keep this and give one of my other dupes to my son who just absolutely adores Lost Cherry. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm going to put Commodities Milk Plus because let's face it, this combination right there, Cherry and Milk Plus, amazing. I'm also going to put Mandorle by Soradora in there. Awesome fragrance. And if I can fit, yeah, Grisk. So I'm gonna put Grisk in here too. I doubt I'll reach for this one at this point, but I want it there just, just in case. In this last shelf, I'm going to put Lantardi because this one is great more for the colder weather. Beautiful pear tuberose combination. Uh, great for kind of that transition to the fall because it's, it's gorgeous and I'm not getting enough use out of it. And then I'm going to actually put Empress in here. Can't wait to reach for that one again. Love this fragrance. Beautiful strawberry fragrance. Okay, in this row, I'm going to get rid of my London Funk for the season because I know I'm not going to reach for that. And I'm going to get rid of uh, Le Nuit Trésor Nude. Love it, but won't reach for it anymore that I can think of. Instead, I'm going to put A La Folie in this space. Oh, so beautiful. I love the color of this bottle. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I'm going to keep Lalique uh, Amethyst out. And I'm also going to put in my Scandal by night. Um, yeah, putting that one in there. In this shelf, I'm going to put, it fits, oh, doesn't fit, crap. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna put my Angel Muse EDP, yay. And I'm going to put my little uh, bespoke fragrance from Untamed Perfumes called Besmera. Um, I don't talk about this one because nobody can get it, but I really, I really love it. In fact, I'm gonna put it on right now. Yeah, it's just, it's, I love this one. It's so beautiful. In this shelf, I am going to put uh, Blackbird by Untamed Perfumes. Uh, this is a beautiful kind of, oh, I love it. I love this fragrance. It's a beautiful kind of uh, rose, um, rose spicy, delicious uh, wood combination. It's so stunning. Okay, so I'm putting this rose in and I think I'm going to put this rose in too. Uh, so this is um, a little bit more of a tart rose. So they're not like the only thing that's similar to them is the rose, but they're both kind of very, um, very like regal fragrances. So this one would be more of a night type fragrance in my opinion and this would be something you could wear in the day for the fall so putting that in there so that's what I have on my second row on this last row I'm gonna put this one in just because I want it oh it doesn't even fit there this bottle shape is hard because um oh this is such a beautiful cap it's a little bit big so I'm gonna put it up top it fits up here so I'm gonna put it up top you can see it after uh, in this shelf, I am going to put uh, Bedel Oud Amethyst. This is a gorgeous kind of jammy, slightly metallic rose. Love it. And if possible, no, why am I putting that in such a big container? It doesn't need to go. Well, I don't have anything else. I'm going to leave this shelf for a second and see if the, I can fit all this other stuff in. So I have this one out. I'm not going to put it out because I associate this more with spring and summer. Uh, it's a nice classy fragrance, but I've got a ton of classy. So I'm going to put this away for now because I've had it out for a couple seasons. This is called Spicy Delis. This is a total spice bomb, but I uh, it's it, it's it, a little masculine leaning. I When I tried it on, 
I thought it was a little bit more ginger forward than it was. It turned out to be just really quite spicy, but it's a beautiful fragrance, but I think it would pair amazingly with this, or it would even pair with something like a Dolce Amalfi, which would kind of juice it up a bit. So kind of a neat combination. This would work well for a man on its own, and I'm gonna try it on its own too, but I thought it would go well with, oh, why? Okay, let's move to a different shelf. Dang. Ah, oh, like this is just like when I was growing up and couldn't figure out puzzles. Okay, so <laughs> these are going there. So I'm going to put those together. Uh, on this shelf, I'm going to do my uh, Amethyst, Bedel Oud Amethyst. I think that's such a gorgeous fragrance. And if possible, I'm going to just slide that in like that. It's not optimal, but I love yellow and purple together. I always have loved yellow and purple together. I got a hat one time in grade six. I was so excited. It was to our elementary school and it had these very colors. I was the only one that picked that particular color. So I never wore it again because I was too embarrassed, but I just think those are awesome together. Okay, the other fragrance I want out is Floral Street. Uh, I also want my this one out, but there's no room. So I'm gonna put that here and I'm gonna put uh, Laclat here just because I want that out for a little while longer. Love that fragrance. So I can fit uh, one or so left in here. So I'm going to go look. Okay, this is the huge mess here as I try to figure things out. This is what I have. What should I put in next? <gasps> no, I need to put Shergi out. So definitely doing Shergi. Um, what else should I choose? This is so exciting. Um, I don't want Mevlana out yet. Okay, I need to pull this out. This is going to go on my tray. So this is uh, Rich Warm Addictive. I've got these three right now that are going to go on my bed tray. So Hugo Boss, Ascent Private Accord. Love it. Uh, and then uh, Fleur de Femme by La Rive. So cheap, so delicious, so amazing. Uh, put that out. I guess I could do Alien. So I'm going to do uh, Shergi and Alien. And very lucky for me, uh, they go perfectly together with this one. How did that happen? That was accidental. Like, look at the juice. Everything. It looks amazing. I love that. So uh, for this row, look at that. So this is what I have here on the bottom shelf. I wish I could fit that better. Maybe I'll just do this for both of them. It's not as nice, but maybe that's how I need to do. Let's turn this this way. That's, oh, that's a bit better, yeah. I have these two and those. I've got this going on. Oh, like, doesn't it look beautiful? I love it. It's like my own department store. So exciting. So disgusted because I had this one. This one just came in the mail. Look at it. Look at it. So I've got to fit this one in. I totally forgot uh, to put it in and all the excitement. But this is such a gorgeous fragrance. Kind of a strawberries and whipped cream fragrance. I think this one would do better in the warmer weather. I'll talk about it more later. But look at that packaging. Isn't that just gorgeous? Like, I love it. It had this red sleeve. You pull off the sleeve. I just love the way this, bo this box opens. Like, it's so nice. Very, very well done. Anyway, this is gorgeous. So I've got to put that in somewhere. But yeah, I have these two fragrances. First of all, I love the yellow and red together. Man, that looks nice. Okay, so I've got to find places for these as well. So I'm going to actually put this little Dolce Amalfi right in here because it'll fit. Uh, and I want to reach for it a little bit more. So that's a little bit full. You know what? I actually think I'd like this better just from a look perspective in front of that because I'm addicted to yellow and purple together. So anyway, uh, that just works fantastic. I love it. Okay. Now, where am I putting uh, the, the Chronic Rouge Extreme? That has to be somewhere nice. Okay, that is going to fit in here. So I'm going to actually take this one out 
Let's see. Okay, I'm putting that one in for sure. Taking out this little guy. I'm putting this one in. Okay, that doesn't look the nicest. Uh, but it fits and then I can reach all three of those easy and then this this little guy I can fit it in here if I move things around so I'm going to move Coco beneath to the back because I honestly don't know how much I'll reach for it and then I'm just going to put that one in there like that because I'm going to reach for this one a lot more I think but I want that out just in case so that is it these are my trays for the fall i'm so pumped i just think that they look amazing and yeah i hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you soon